How's it? It's ISO Casual Gamer at its finest. So guys, I'm learning more and more about cloud gaming every single day. Thanks to people like Doc Dark 1885 there's levels of layers to this, like an onion. And, and now your mama knows, aka the cowboy, aka the stadia guy. But thanks to them, I'm learning more about it and the benefits and why people like cloud gaming which is very fair, nothing wrong with it. Just wanna let you guys know right now, there is nothing wrong if you enjoy cloud gaming. Like I said, I'm learning more about it every single day. So some of the more common ones I typically hear about is Stadia, Luna, xCloud, PS Now, and GFN. Now, no matter how much I hear great things about it, right? All the good stuff, the benefits, the pro and the cons, there's one thing, one thing, okay, that's the same across the board, no matter what platform you're on, which is the biggest problem of cloud gaming. And that's the game catalog. Whether or not you use PS Now, not every single PlayStation game is going to be available. Same thing with xCloud. Not every single Xbox game will be available for cloud streaming. With GFN, not every PC and or Steam game is going to be on GFN. So as long as you're fine with it and that's not a problem for you, then it's not a problem for you. But to say that's not a problem for other people, can't really speak for those people. You can only speak for yourself. So for someone like me who enjoy a lot of variety of Steam games, if a good amount of those games aren't available on GFN, there's really no point for me to go to GFN. The same thing for PlayStation and Xbox. If you want to enjoy specific games and for whatever reason, they're not on that cloud platform yet, you either have to wait pray it gets there or just deal with not being able to play with the game which can be pretty annoying to deal with right we're all gamers at the end of the day you do cloud gaming for a reason because of whatever situation you're in or whatever your preference might be but we are gamers at the end of the day we want to play games so that's i think i believe that's the biggest reason why people don't transition over to cloud game whether or not you have perfect internet you have the means to get it finances are an issue or obviously do you have the potential of saving money with cloud gaming but the biggest problem like i mentioned before is the limitation of games available you know it is what it is to me that is literally the biggest problem of cloud gaming is the limitation of games but if it works for you it works for you but like i said before that isn't the case for everyone else but other than that hey cloud gaming is doing great things continuously improving hopefully part of the game catalog they continue to get more entice people to go over to their platform but that's why with hardware and with the cloud they're both going to coexist with one another until maybe way down the line and the, who knows when that'll be when cloud gaming may or may not be the main platform or they continue to coexist with one another we got we just have to wait and find out guys but hey i appreciate you guys hanging out to the end of the video like subscribe if you're new let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the whole cloud hardware situation whatever your thoughts are in regards to the video but hey i appreciate you guys now catch you guys in the next one all right shoots